six o'clock back again. Does my head in in here? Spend a night in next doors and then get back to us. Did you see them getting it fitted? Oh, don't. Do they want any more sandbags on the roof? They've always been like that. They didn't let their Lucy eat a kinder egg until she was 12, <laughs> in case you choked. And what were you doing when I was 12? You were quite boring, love. Oh. I prefer you now. Oh, cheers. I'll pop the radio on for you then, shall I? None of that, thank you. Let's hear what the news is That's saying. That's the only thing getting me through. Right, fine. Good evening. This is your daily six o'clock briefing. This afternoon, the Prime Minister addressed the country, thanking the people of Great Britain for their resilience as airstrikes continue across the north of England. It is now two weeks since strikes began and ten days since the government launched the Safe by Six initiative, encouraging the general public to reside in their private or local community bomb shelters from 6pm during the strikes. Nothing new there then. Carry your gas mask. Don't go out after six. Still no social media. I won't know anything else until the strikes stop, I think. Well, no. Have they said when the shops will have more board games back in stock? I've never been so desperate for a game of Cluedo in my life. There's a war happening. And you are still so tragic. But that's how we used to do it. Before all the phones and playstations and all that. Have you seen my earrings, the nice ones that look like a face? They'll be in the house, won't they? What do you need them for? I'm going to the Black Swan. Oh, you bloody not. I bloody am. It's got a shelter in the cellar. It's fine. They've started doing drinks down there and everything. It's a bit shite because it's all British spirits now, but it's something. Some of the girls from work have started going. So long as you're in a shelter, it doesn't matter where it is. Girls from work? Oh, give over. This is that new Andy fella, isn't it? Mum! Oh, don't kid a kidder. Girls at work? Oh. But seriously, text him, because you're not going. I haven't got signal. Oh, shit. My nerves are shot, they really are. Do you fancy a tea? Please, yeah, that'd be nice. Lovely. Mine's two sugars. Oh, all right. You know what? I keep thinking how lucky we are. Oh, yeah, living the dream. No, think about it, though. The last time this happened, they didn't have electricity in the shelters and all that we've got now for when we've got to stay cooped up in here. It'd have been a lot worse in the Blitz and that, wouldn't it? They didn't have out. Bored out of me mind, I'd be. I'm sure they found a way. Well, yeah, I suppose they found their own fun, didn't they? Not like now. Oh, I need a drink. When can we be out of here? When the siren goes again. Well, how long will that be? I don't know, do I? I'm not magic, am oh, I? Oh, my God, I'm just asking. You're going to do me head in and you. What have I done? Well, I could be in the pub now. You wouldn't have made it. I would. I could be having a strawberry gin and lemonade by now. With Andy. Here's your tea. All right. I'll say no more. Cheers. Fancy a game of Monopoly? Oh, that's a good <laughs> shout. What's the score now? Oh, no idea. I won last time, though. <laughs> Who the bloody hell is that? I don't know, do I? Everyone should be indoors. Hold me tea. Hello? All right. Well, the thing is, love, it's just a two-person one, this. Oh, OK. Um, Ruby? Who is it? Young lady who says she knows you. Andrea! Uh, 
Hi. Hi, yeah. Ruby. Um, oh, right. How do you two? Yeah, she works at our I'll place. Be... Right. Oh, right. Well, come in, Andrea, love. Lovely to meet you. I'm Vicky, Ruby's mum. Risking it a bit being out during this, aren't you? I was just meeting someone at the pub, but they didn't show up. The black swan? Eesh, mm-hmm. That's dead funny. Ruby was off out there to meet someone tonight. Y- mm-hmm. Weren't you, Ruby? Well, the siren did go off, so maybe they got caught up. Either way, a text would have been nice. Oh, some people. No manners. Not even a message. Nope. That's dangerous. I hope you've given them a telling off. I will. Well, thank goodness you made it here. Oh, God, here they come. Get your coat off, Andrea, love, and sit down. Thanks. Do you like Monopoly? Uh, do you like Monopoly? Can I be the banker? <laughs> They're getting closer. Can I buy Marleybone Station, Mr Banker? That's not there anymore, is it? But ma'am... You're supposed to call me Mr Banker. Yeah, not when you say stuff like that, I'm not. I'm just saying, they bombed it, didn't they? Yeah. Gone. They'll rebuild it, though. He was saying in his last speech that... Uh, they won't replace everything that's gone, love. No way. Ravneet, you know Ravneet. She was saying, she says, Vicky... They leave us to rot. We cannot trust them for a minute. And I tell you something, I bet you any money what they replace first and what they keep as rubbish. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd pass go before I bet on anything if I were you. I mean, God forbid they hit anywhere like the part of London our bloody Prime Minister lives in yeah. and all these cronies. Oh, the scaffolding would go up tomorrow. Exactly. And I bet their temporary accommodation would be a damn sight nicer oh, too. Be right, Andrea, it's your go. And don't even get me stuck. Started on this new policy. Right, can you move us four places? Right, ma'am, please? do you mind if we just don't talk about it? Well, it's happening, love, like it or not. It is scary, though, isn't it, Vicky? Aye. Sorry, love. Yes, it is. I still can't get over how lucky it is that this was the first house you tried and we were here. <laughs> Coincidence, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You could have ended up with a load of strangers. Yeah, mental. Yeah. What are the chances? <laughs> You two keep playing. I'm just going to find those biscuits I left in here last night. <laughs> Such a coincidence. Um, um, Andrea. Um, Ruby. My mum. Mm-hmm. She uh, doesn't know that we... That we... When we hang out together, she doesn't know that we like... Uh-huh. To play Monopoly. Right. Yeah, she has no idea that that we play Monopoly uh-huh. together. I, I I don't even think she knows I'm into uh, board games. Board games. Yes, board games. Oh, I, I think she thinks games. that I prefer um, video games. Uh, video games. Yes. Yeah. Huh, well, well, maybe you should tell her how much you like board games. Yeah, well, I was planning on it, but I wasn't sure she'd be open to the idea of me playing board games. What are you two on about? Roofs, we play Monopoly mm. together uh, all the time. Oh. <laughs> You've always liked board games. <gasps> we play Boggle every Christmas. Oh, do you Boggle? Oh, right, Ooh. stop. Ma'am, it's just that we play a special Monopoly with each other. Why mm. is it so different? Well, I just... Not sure it's for you. Different rules, mm. Vicky. I could learn. Why can't I play Special Monopoly with my daughter and her friend? Oh, <laughs> okay. Why don't we just play regular Monopoly even now? Mm. I'm telling you now, girls, if this carries on all night, I'm not pleased. I don't think anyone will be pleased. I don't like how close they're getting. Am I um, all right to grab a biscuit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just help yourself. Thanks. Vicky, can I just come past there? No. No. We're like sardines in here, aren't we? (laughs) Is she okay? Yeah. Yeah. How 
come I haven't met her before? Actually, Mum, I I want to tell you something. <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus oh. Christ! Is everyone okay? Andy! 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 Ruby? Are you okay? Andy? Uh, I As something hit in Andrew. Y- yes, in a minute, Mum. Can you see? Uh, are you there. okay, yeah, my head hurts. I think a piece of the roof came Oh, in. you're bleeding. Oh, Christ, I can't uh, see a hole in the roof. No. Are you sure? She's bleeding, of course she's sure. Oh, I'm fine. I, I feel fine, really. It's just it's just my head. I think it was a bit of metal. Oh, you something. might be in I shock. Can you can you wiggle your fingers and toes? Yes, I can. How many fingers am I holding up? Three. Right, what what year is it? Who's the Babe, Prime Minister? I'm fine. It just hurts. Right, I'll call an ambulance. No, you won't. No, no, no it's fine. Feet. I don't need Andy, ambulance. darling, let's just get you onto the camp bed. <sighs> Rubes passes the first aid kit. Oh. Should be on that little shelf above the kettle. Andy, uh, Andy, is it just your head? Yeah. Oh, it's a bit of a nasty cut. Oh, You'll be yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh. We'll bandage you up and see how you go. Mm-hmm. No use sitting in A and E for five hours for a cut forehead. Oh, it looks nasty. Mm, looks worse than it is, I'm sure. Have a lie down, Andy, love. If you feel tired, let me know, but don't go to sleep. Oh. Thank you. Ruby, love, help us with the tea. Is she okay? It's just a scratch, love. We'll keep an eye on her. So, the Andy you were going to meet, who I thought was a man, is this lovely young lady here. I I was going to tell you. So when you two were talking all funny about games and that, you meant... Can we just not mention that ever again, please? You should have told me. I didn't want you to, you know, like make a thing of it. Oh, Ruby, sweetheart. I love you. End of story. And who would I be if I didn't make a thing of it? Now, tell me how you two met. Um, um, I can't really... Was it that pitch we had to do for yeah. the Sullivan contract? Big launch was, thing. Oh, the big you launch. You told me about that, Roots. <laughs> yeah, we went for a drink that. after work one day as mates. So and yeah, a bit uh, of Prosecco. Yeah. <laughs> Girls, oh. Uh, then you? Oh, ma'am! I'm oh. only trying to find out what else I missed. Mm. And you make each other happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, th- I think so. Really happy. Well, that's all I want. <laughs> that and the house still to be standing. <laughs> <laughs> well, can't go outside until they all clear. At least I've gone past now. For today. Oh, nice one. Oh. I'm just saying, it's been every night this week. No, I have been here as well. Yeah. Andy, love, what do you want to do? Um, could carry on with Monopoly. <laughs> Not special Monopoly, I hope. Right, ma'am, <laughs> just normal family-friendly Monopoly. I love please. it when she gets stressy no, like I'm this. not stressy. <laughs> yeah, you are like. Uh, right, <laughs> whose score was it? Mine. I don't think it was. Oh, just roll the dice, Vicky, please. <laughs> Oh, six. <gasps> oh, I know what's going to happen here. Oh, Are you joking? now, could I place a hotel on Mayfair, please? Right, hang on. Uh, hey, now, you saw Mayfair the dice, and the dice doesn't lie. Oh, it landed yeah. there, and it was six. <laughs>